autonomous ultrasound scanning to localize needle tip in breast brachytherapy. In percutaneous procedure like breast and prostate brachytherapy, a surgeon inserts long flexible needles into the body to implement radioactive seeds in and around cancerous tissue. With needle tip placement influencing the efficiency of treatment, ultrasound imaging is used during needle insertion to inform the surgeon in real time about the needle tip position. In prostate brachytherapy, needles are inserted through holes in a template grid into the tissue. The grid holes define the insertion axis for the needle and it is crucial to reduce the deflection of the needle tip away from this axis. In prostate brachytherapy, the ultrasound probe and template grid are stabilized and it is easy to register and project the grid template points to the ultrasound image. Additionally, being as a a stepper stabilizer is used, clinician can easily manipulate the ultrasound probe to a desired location during implementation. In breast brachytherapy, however, clinician must manually manipulate the ultrasound probe to track the needle tip. Therefore, there is no standard grid template to ultrasound image registration procedure for this surgery. In this work, we have designed a robot controller to autonomously move the ultrasound probe such that it tracks the needle tip position. Using the data of the needle base position along its insertion axis and additionally minimize breast compression during the scan through controlling the ultrasound probe force applied to tissue. The ultrasound probe orientation or position will be controlled such that they always capture a cross section of the needle tip. Our work also showed the utility of a visual overlay of the template hole location on top of the ultrasound image in real time providing the clinician with crucial information about needle deflection. A feasibility study including five participants has been done to examine the usability of the proposed framework. We propose two different ultrasound probe control strategy. Both the control strategy for the ultrasound probe manipulation task are designed to maintain needle tip visibility in the ultrasound images. The first strategy is called orientation control, where the ultrasound probe is in contact with a single point on the tissue and it rotates about this contact point. And the second strategy is translational control, where the ultrasound probe is moved over the tissue surface while the ultrasound probe imaging plan is held to capture the needle tip. For either of these controllers, the normal force applied by the ultrasound probe to the tissue is modulated to ensure good image quality while attempting to minimize tissue deformation. In this work, the desired force is defined by the user. However, in our other works, we have developed algorithms to calculate the force level based on the ultrasound image quality. In orientation control, the main objective is to control the orientation of the probe around a center of rotation. The center of rotation is the centroid of the region where the probe contacts tissue and rotating the probe about this point is used to keep the needle tip visible in the ultrasound image. The desired orientation of the ultrasound probe frame can be obtained by defining the desired orientation of its z-axis as you can see in the left figure. The desired z-axis of the probe red vector in the direction uh, of the vector from the center point of the probe to the needle tip. The ultrasound probe should rotate around its rotation center to align its z-axis with the desired z-axis. In the translational control scenario, the probe will follow the needle tip by moving over the breast surface while the probe z-axis is aligned to intersect the vector heading toward the needle tip from the probe contact point. To determine the desired trajectory over the breast surface for the contact point of the probe, the intersection between a plane N defined as containing the longitudinal axis of the needle and the probe contact point and the breast surface should be defined. For real-time control, instead of finding the trajectory line, the desired location of the probe corresponding with the current location of the needle tip is found in a piecewise fashion. As you can see in the right-hand figure, the desired location of the tissue probe contact can be obtained by finding the intersection between the line perpendicular to the needle axis in the plane N, denoted by Ln in this figure, and the surface of the breast. To determine the profile of the breast surface, points on the surface of the breast can be captured by any 3D scanner such as Microsoft Kinect, and the breast surface model can be defined through fitting parameters to this capture point. 
For the experimental setup, the ultrasound probe is connected to a force sensor and is mounted to a panda robot. A user inserts a bracket therapy needle into the phantom tissue and a micron tracker is utilized to track the location of the needle base during insertion. By knowing which hole the needle was inserted to in the guide template and with the insertion legs provided by the micron tracker, the needle tip position can be calculated. Here are the first blood diagram to explain how the orientation and position controller work. For both controller, the position and Euler angle error are the input to a velocity controller which is implemented by the Panda robot. With the robot at the desired position and orientation, the contact force needs to be adjusted by moving the probe downward on the tissue in the direction of its local z-axis. To move the probe downward, a velocity controller is also implemented for force control as shown in the second block diagram. The goal of image overlay is to project the guide template grid points on top of the ultrasound image. First, the intersection between the axis of holes in the guide template and the imaging plane are obtained based on the left figure. To transform the intersection points which are represented in the metric base frame, a transformation matrix from the metric base frame to the ultrasound image pixel domain is required and given by the top equation. In this equation, T is a transformation matrix from the base frame to the pro frame and C is a scaling matrix that scales real world coordinate to the ultrasound image pixel coordinate. The guide template projection on two uh, ultrasound images capture using the translational control strategy at the beginning at the middle of the insertion are shown in the right hand side image. A stiff needle indicated in the figure serve as a fixed visual marker. The amount of deflection in the flexible bracket therapy needle is therefore easier to track and understand for a clinician using grid projection. To evaluate the assessive effect of our autonomous ultrasonic scanning and visual projection of the needle tip localization, Four experiments were conducted. The NASA task load index was used to subjectively assess the performance of the proposed robotic system for each of the five participants. Each participant did a single insertion for each of the four scenarios. The participants were engineering students with little to no familiarity with ultrasound scanning and percussion therapies. For the first scenario, the translational controller drove the ultrasound probe to track the needle tip during needle insertion and the grid template points were not projected onto the ultrasound image. For the second scenario, the translational controller drove the ultrasound probe and the grid template points were projected onto the ultrasound image. Similarly, in the third and fourth scenario, for orientation control were evaluated with and without grid template point projection respectively. The participants were asked to rate the difficulty of each scenario using three criteria from the standard NASA TLX evaluation, where the three criteria of interest are the performance, effort, and frustration when using the system in each of these scenarios. Here, performance means how successful the user feels in predicting the approximate location of the needle tip by using the proposed robotic system. The effort and frustration measure how hard the needle localization task is for the user and how confident the user is about the final needle tip placement at the end of the task. The usability study results are shown in the figure. The performance in scenario 2 and 4 when the visualization overlay is applied is higher than scenario 1 and 3 where no overlay is provided. In order to evaluate if the changing parameter between scenarios significantly affect the resultant data, a t-test analysis is carried out on the and the results are reported in the table. Based on the table, there is a meaningful difference between the result of scenario 1 and 2 and also between scenario 3 and 4, which means uh, that the image overlay significantly enhances the performance with which the user is able to complete the needle tracking task. However, there is no statistically significant difference between scenario 1 and scenario 3, which reveals that the two different strategies for probe control do not significantly affect user performance. Here we have shown that the projection of the template grid allows for adequate needle tip localization in both the translational and orientation control strategy. One note to be considered for future work, however, is that the orientation control strategy faces a geometric limitation due to poor probe uh, tissue contact at large angles. 
The primary advantage of the translational strategy over orientation control is that it could track the needle tip without uh, this geometrical limitation. Thank you so much for your attention.